Good morning, it is 5.15 a.m. and we are up and getting ready. We're about to leave in about five or 10 minutes. Tracy, Daisy and Luke are just getting ready and we are off to Hollywood Studios this morning for their super crazy early magic hours. Um, so we're gonna head straight into Galaxy's Edge, get on Smugglers and then probably uh, do Toy Story and the rest of the park as well. So we will see you on the bus. It's Everybody is on the bus, even the boy at the back. So it's 5.45, we are going in. The kids are already mucking about. That is a mammoth task for us, especially to get Luke out the door. <laughs> but we are here. So before you get to the ticket big, um, they'll scan your bands to make sure that you're staying on resort. Because these hours are just for resort guests only. 10 to 6 in the morning, big boy Luke on the park. Didn't they get, you know, be awake at this time? What's it like? Weird, I don't like it. Uh oh. It's quite cool actually, it feels <laughs> like night time. It does feel like night time, doesn't it? But more quiet. It's, a, it's weird here, yeah. at these hours. These hours are mad. <laughs> it's like surreal. <laughs> So they're holding everyone here until six. Uh, and then I imagine rope drop and in. Wonder and imagine. Stepping with us now into this amazing world and creating your own exciting story. From a galaxy far, far away to infinity and beyond, where dreams come true. Welcome to Disney's Hollywood Studios. How cool is that? <laughs> So we're walking into Galaxy's Edge and like the cast members at the front are like holding a line. I think they're doing that to stop people just properly legging it and falling over and potentially hurting themselves or getting stampeded going into Galaxy's Edge. So we're having a nice little herd walk. The two backers out. We've got some stormtroopers up at the top there, keeping an eye on everybody. So we're having a slight change of plan. When Daisy and I did Magic Hours the other day, we got to the park about 10 past six and headed straight for Toy Story Land. After we left Toy Story Land, we went into uh, Galaxy's Edge and it was pretty chilled. The amount of people that were there this morning for the six o'clock rope drop are all heading into Galaxy's Edge. It's gonna be a bit bonkers. I think the wait for Smuggler's Run could easily be over an hour at this time of the morning. It was 55 minutes. Was it? Yeah. Cool. So we are gonna head straight into Toy Story Land and get on some rides here because we think it's gonna be pretty quiet. So we're now in Toy Story Land. Deserted. Keep an eye out for alien flying saucers. They've been observed in this quadrant and their flight control is programmed for maximum fun. So, first ride of the day, Slinky Dog Dash, 15 minutes standby. All your parts and pieces. dog done. Tracy didn't do it this morning. I think she wants to try it for the first time in the daylight. The more I ride that ride, the more I love it. I think it's one of the best rides here. So the trash talking is already starting. I just want to go and enjoy it really. Luke's already no, like... No one, no one goes like... Because if you try to enjoy it, you wouldn't even shoot. You just sit on the ride and just spin you around for a bit. I might do that. Just sit on the ride. <laughs> Marvel at the 3D. You'd probably get a higher score than you did last time. Oh, ouch, Charlie. You're making any mania! So come on, pal, and step right up! Alright! Alright! 
What did you get? 177,000. Oh, nice. What did you get, Days? <laughs> what did she get, Luke? She got like 12. I got 150,000. Really? On the, on the dot. What did Mum get? Uh, 134. She did good. Oh, that's well good. Yeah. So we're heading out of Toy Story Land and heading over to Batu, and I think we might do Star Tours on the way. So this is really cool. So this is all done with water. So someone's gone around with a mop. And... How cool is that? This is the Hollywood Brown Derby. It's really nice in there. The character, well, the cast interactions are brilliant. Uh, we've been in there. The burgers are in there are, are really good. Um, but the cast come up and they're super, super funny. So we're heading down towards Tower of Terror, rock and roller coaster. We're going to hop on those now. You will not see this street this quiet very often. So we're just heading into Rock and Roller Coaster. It is coming up to uh, five to seven. Daisy and I are taking predictions on when Luke will start to crash hard. We think 11 a.m. So when you come on magic hours, you don't have to wait for like the pre-ride bit. Not the camera. Out of your hands. <laughs> right, it's rock and roller done. Kids want to do it again. Kids want to do it again. Yeah, I'm going to go and sit with Tracy for five minutes, and the kids are going again. So it is a 30-minute standby for Terror of Terror. We're not going to do that at the moment. You've done rock and roller coaster three times this morning. How do you feel? Wind swept. Uh, right. We are going to go and do Slinky Dog. Okay, so it's just coming up for 7.30. It is a Sunday today, so it probably will be slightly busier. And the standby entrance time for Slinky Dog, 30 minutes. So a big day for Trace. We're going on <laughs> Slinky Dog. I'm not sure I'm going to make it through the queue at this point. We're going on Slinky Dog. I'm getting there. I'm very proud of you. <laughs> All right, in the back. How are you doing? For thrills, you back. What do you think? Best ride ever. Right, <laughs> right in the back. Let me push this bit. This bit's fine. Hey! High five. <laughs> right, so you done it. I think I could probably do it again now. A single day, and it was really good doing it with in daylight because when I was feeling a bit squiffy, I could just look at the galaxy's edge and feel it distract me. So, yeah. So, would you recommend it to people that are a bit spooked out about rides? Yes, because it's very smooth. For me, it was the height thing and not, not having anything either side of me on the high bits that freaked me out a bit. But actually, that was okay because I just looked at the view and forgot where I was. So. Very proud of you. High five. <laughs> What have you got there? Cinnamon. How is it? Very nice. Looks very nice. So we're taking a little pit stop, we've got some coffee. Tracy's got a muffin. Now we're going to head into Galaxy's Edge. So the sun's coming up. Looks like it's going to be a lovely day. It's pretty warm this morning. Yeah. It's pretty funky jazz down here. Oh, you know what I can hear? I can hear someone slapping the beer. Slapping the beer, beer man. I'm really tired. Big time. Tired? Yeah. What do you mean tired? Well, I'm tired. I don't know what it is, mate. It's five, to, it's five to eight. I know, but I don't normally get up till like 11. And I like it that way. I'm happy with my life choices. This morning has really shook me out of, out of shape. I've been shook, mate. I'm shook it. No, this is just cardboard cutouts. It's all an illusion. Not cardboard cutouts. Yeah. What are you talking about? Illusion. You're Still just delirious like through the lack of sleep. It's not, is this real life? Uh. <laughs> what is really cool about these magic hours, it is coming up for eight o'clock we are in galaxy's edge and the park opens to non-residents 
Oh, what railway? Really I'm really tired. At nine o'clock. So it opens for uh, hotel guests at six. That's three hours of magic hours. And Luke is loving life. Hello. <laughs> Good, how are you? Yeah, man. Oh, what you got there? Oh, this? Yeah. Little band. <laughs> Why do you love that so much? I love it. <laughs> Not very good. No. Well, the idea is that you wet yourself and then you try it. I don't want to wet myself. <laughs> Not again. No, I did that this morning. <laughs> That's how I woke up. <laughs> <laughs> There's no rational reason to this, but those stormtroopers really freaked me out. Can I help you, sir? Step back. This is my turn. So there are lots of really, really cool photo ops here. So we've had some pictures taken, and then when we get back later, we'll see what they came out like. But there's lots of like 3D stuff and bits where they put animations or superimposed stuff on you. But yeah, it's all really, really cool. So in the marketplace, you've got all these little tiny stalls, almost like a, sort of a Moroccan marketplace. So in here, it's all like wooden Star Wars toy. Give us a bunk. Makes a noise. Everyone's getting a bit peckish, so we're gonna grab a couple of Ronto wraps. Hungry? I just had a cinnamon bun, but there's definitely room. Good skills. So we're here in Batu, got some Ronto wraps. The service was lightning fast. Oh, how you going, mate? Get it in, you go. Right, you've had a little nom days. What's it like? I only managed to get over the hot Cool, let's have a look inside. Ooh. What's it like? I really like it. Nice. Well, I've just had a nibble of the Ronto wrap. Really, really nice. Like the best hot dog ever. What do you think? Lovely. Yeah, really, really good. Luke is still face deep. He's gone into some sort of induced crazed state. What do you reckon? Really nice. Yeah, yeah like really, really nice. The first order will be watching you. Better get back to that sightseeing. Good. <laughs> right, time to head over to Smuggler's Run. What do you get, Luke? Got Gunner, but you know, it's Destiny, it's an Arsenal game today. So <laughs>
thing about this area there's lots of little seats and tables where you can just hang out bearing in mind this is really really busy today we've never had a problem here getting a seat or a table yeah it is isn't it's it yeah oh, I love it you could just hang out here all day So we're heading into Star Tours 15 minute standby. Exit into the gift shop. This is a really good gift shop though. A bit worried that Daisy keeps picking up porgs wherever she goes. Looks like mum's been out driving again. <laughs> 50s primetime diner is a really fun place to uh, have dinner or have some lunch. The, um, all the cast members sort of interact with you as if you're having dinner at their house. And, fun story, my mate Martin ate there once, popped to the toilet and as he's walking back through the whole restaurant, a server shouted out across the restaurant, excuse me sir, did you wash your hands? And he was like, yeah, yeah, I washed my hands. And then the server just went, what colour was the soap? And my mate Martin hadn't washed his hands. Or dirty. remember. Yeah, dirty Martin. <laughs> and he was just like, uh, and they went, back you go. And they made him dust the shelves as a punishment. <laughs> <laughs> Take care now. So one of the pitfalls of buying brand new shoes and smashing them out in a park with trainer socks is sometimes it causes a bit of rubbing, doesn't it, Luke? There's a lot of friction going on. They've got some very stylish. <laughs> so look at these bad boys. <laughs> Don't forget, pull them all the way up. Oh, of course. I feel like you stitched me up slightly here. <laughs> Who? I would never do that. Oh, of course. Who went in saw those socks and were like, nah. <laughs> <laughs> Who? Um, no, the ones like, Dad said. <laughs> like, they said they were like sets of three socks. We saw like the really like you know pretty much high knees socks. Like, nah, I can't be those. All the way. All the way. What, what? Here we 
go, lads. Who do they belong to? Me. Fine. Right, it's just gone 25 past 10. We've got everything done that we wanted to get done at Hollywood Studios. So we are now going for our ride on the Skyliner. Oh, so we're, we, uh, we're all getting on the Nissan. Yeah, we got it, Luke. <laughs> we're getting on the Skyliner. Luke and his snazzy socks pulled them down. He didn't want to be like super fun, fancy sock Luke. Just plain old boring sock Luke. No, leave my socks alone. Ah! This I know, is right? Bigger than I thought. It's, like, really it's bigger than it looks on camera. Cool, aren't they? Really? <laughs> <laughs> up, up and away. It's all pretty cool. It's really smooth. It gets really high really quick. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Yeah, it's really high. So, first voyage on the Skyliner. It felt like it was floating, really quiet, but I loved it. Yeah. So we're now going to get a connecting um, Skyliner gondola all the way over to Epcot. So as if by magic, we are at Epcot. <laughs> Everyone's got the giggles. I was hilarious three minutes ago. So we are heading down to the boardwalk area, which is a really, really lovely area if you want to stroll around and escape some of the busyness of Epcot because there's a really really lovely sports bar there the ESPN club and they're showing the game that Luke wants to watch today also fun fact best nachos on Disney property definitely so here's a look at the boardwalk area really really lovely spot and in the evenings here they have lots of like outside entertainment like jugglers and a bit of dancing I did it around here, so that's how I was over here, so I was all there. I've lost the accent quick. <laughs> this whole area is really, really lovely. Super chilled as well. And that bit over there is where the ESPN bar is, where Luke's going to watch the game. Right, you're going to be alright. If you get lost, just say help. I'm like Toy Story, I've just got like returned to Kidani Village because like, I've got a tag on my shoe. So Luke's decided we're a little bit early for the game. Yeah. So he's uh, hanging out with us. So we are going to try and get the bus from Boardwalk to Magic Kingdom. It's and then Luke will probably get the monorail back to Epcot. Yeah, I mean it's the Skyliner's fault for being so efficient. I thought it would take way longer. He's well efficient. Yeah, it's well good. Here's a look at the Boardwalk Hotel. Very nice. Smells nice. Follow the signs today, Zoe. Follow the yellow brick road. So we're here at Magic Kingdom. Sun is out. Beautiful day, and we have a fast pass for Jungle River Cruise. And we are here to see the parade. The ferry's just coming in, and if you look over there, the Grand Floridian is looking beautiful. Right, we're all in. Heading over to... I don't know. What are we heading over to? I think we got a fast pass for Pirates. Adventureland. Adventureland. This is the Crystal Palace. They do character dining in here and it's normally buffet style. We've had breakfast and dinner in here and it's always been really, really good. Lots of times with the cat, lots of time with the characters. Right, we are heading on down into Jungle Cruise because we have a fast pass. Giraffes, wildebeests, gazelles, vultures, and would you look at this? The world. Up the back side of water. Everyone, raise your hand if you're not here. Up everybody, duck, 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 du
yeah, as ever, great fun. Just a nice little interlude. <laughs> yeah, the skippers on there are so much fun. Loads of dad jokes, which we love. And now we've got a fast pass for Pirates of the Caribbean. So we're going to hop on that. Boatloads of dad jokes. Nice. That was a dad joke. That was a dad joke. I know. That's what I said it. Nice. High five. That's another great ride of pirates done. Definitely a must do if you're coming here. It's a real classic. And you got all the pirate merch. You can get that in England though. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know where you can get it? No. Argos. Oh, mm. I knew there was something coming. I just my brain wasn't working quick enough. Mm. But yeah, good job. Thanks. <laughs> So we're just leaving pirates. What do you fancy, Dezo? Pardon? What do you fancy? A doll whip. Let's go and get one. It is lovely here today. Not too hot, not too busy, considering it's a Sunday. Spot on. So a top tip for skipping some lines if you want sort of food or drinks is the mobile ordering, which Daisy probably won't be able to see because of the glare. So Daisy on the mobile app is ordering some doll whips. So the mobile order was a success. So you skip all those lines, little play on the app, and then you get one of these. How is it? So good. You're a doll whip enthusiast, aren't you? How's yours, Trace? So it's coming up quarter to two, and we have bagsied ourselves a very sweet spot for the two o'clock showing of the Festival Fan uh, Fancy Parade. Haven't seen this parade in forever so we are in frontier land the girls are down and comfy and we got the band coming through Done. We had an amazing viewing point for that. Loved it. But like Frontierland is probably the one. But it starts in Frontierland, I think. So yeah. Yeah. I yeah. Love it. So and good. I got a nod. Yeah. Tinkerbell pointed at his, his T-shirt. So Tracy just popped to the shop for a bit. Daisy and I have a fast pass for one of our all-time favourites. Splash Mountain. How much do you love this ride? How much? Two, please. I just love it. All the feels. All the feels. Another brilliant ride on Splash Mountain. One of my favourite rides in the whole thing. If you want to get wet, sit on the right, which I did. Don't worry though. 
I may look soaked, but I'm actually wearing Billabong Crossfire shorts. They look like fancy shorts. Turns out they're swimming trunks as well, so I'll be dry in a minute. So we're in the gift shop after Splash Mountain. I've never actually spent a lot of time in here and never realised we're in like the roots of a tree. Have you seen all this up here before? Yeah, one of my favourite It's awesome. Welcome to History Lessons with Daisy. Don't do history, I do geography, but that's irrelevant. 13 lanterns in this tree for 13 original colonies of the United States of America. Also, if you have a look around, you see all these beautiful windows. Not sure which one it is, but one of them has two lanterns in the window. And if you did American history at school, it's one lantern by sea, no, one lantern by land, two by sea, so the English are coming by sea. Ooh, that is well good. High nice. five. If we can find it, I will point it out. Okay. My eyesight's not great. <laughs> There's a lovely shot of the castle. Where are we going now? People mover. It's so emotional it moves people. <gasps> See what he did there? Not mine. Isn't it? So even though the weather's really, really good today and it's a Sunday, it's a pretty light park day. Yes, the crowds don't seem bad at all. The wait times, although they, they peak up a little bit, they go down to like 15, 20 minutes on a regular basis. So Yeah. Really nice, it's actually pleasant to be here. This is the people mover. It's just like a little Stay clear of the doors. old schooly, what would have been futuristic in the 70s type train that whizzes you around a bit in the park. We love it. And if you just want to get a bit of a break, a bit of a sit down, a bit of cool breeze in your face, this one is a winner. Welcome aboard the Tomorrowland from one of the way. You can preview many of the exciting places you want to be sure to enjoy today. Oh, great start. Young or old, it's your chance to drive in the fast lane without rain. So this site here is uh, the construction for Tron. They are really, really coming on with this. That was a brilliant couple of hours at Magic yeah, Kingdom. Yeah, really, really no. good. Yeah. It's hot and sticky and clammy today, but crowds were good, wait times were good. We had a great time. Yeah, so we're going to head back on the bus, check in with Luke, and uh, yeah, we'll see you in a bit. It has just gone six o'clock. We are all scrubbed and smelling lovely. The World Axe Throwing Championships is on the telly which we were all like super keen to see. Um, and we are heading off to Disney Springs because who is hungry? Me. Are we really gonna play it off like we really wanted to watch the, the axe throwing competitions? I really wanted to watch the axe throwing competition. <laughs> so we're heading down to Disney Springs. We are really, really hungry. We've got nothing booked. So the girl's probably gonna do a bit of shopping. Luke and I are probably gonna have some pre-dinner wings somewhere. So we'll see you at Disney Springs. Oh, we've got a fancy bird down there. Kevin. Couple of zebras. And somebody with new shoes. Mm -hmm. Got new shoes. Yeah, that's what they call me. They call me Lukey New Shoes. <laughs> Lukey New Shoes. Yeah. <laughs> so if you've never been to Florida before, it does rain here a bit. And when it comes down, it properly comes down. So we've got a bit of a break in the weather. We're currently at Disney Springs and we're heading over to House of Blues, hopefully for a reservation. Um, we're not booked anything, but hopefully we can get in there. We've not eaten there for a while, and the last time we ate there wasn't brilliant. But up until that point, it's one of our favourites. So hoping to see that if it's hoping to see if, if food's good. So we're really hoping to see <laughs> if the food's good, aren't we, Luke? Yeah, we want some premium nom, but we want it now. I need some wings. Yeah. Right next to the House of Blues, they've actually got a House of Blues uh, music venue. There's a big old queue out the front. Maybe they're waiting for you, mate. Might be me. I, I was Marius in Les Mis, um, and <laughs> they probably knew that already. So. They heard you're in the in the locale. Yeah, so I, I was just thinking of doing a little bit of, uh, you know, open mic. It's freestyling a bit, you know. No, that's my roots. What do you reckon it is? I've got no idea what it is, but it's, it's busy, and there's uh, certainly a market for it. So congratulations, House of Blues, you've done it again. Outside in the rain shop. So we're in, taking about 25 minutes for a table. But it's dry. It's dry, it's dry, it's dry. It's a nice chair, it's got bottle caps all over it. It's cool, very Is it comfortable? 
Not at all, really. And then you got all these shoes up the side. I like the decor in here. Oh, I like it. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's, it's um, more style over function. So they said half an hour. We're sat in five minutes. We've got a lovely table. The decor's great. We've got live music. Can you show the live music behind us? There's a man. <laughs> <laughs> So it's a win. Everybody is and happy. The air quality of blasting is actually quite good. I'll give it five minutes. That'll be great. Yeah, it's quite good. We're just like going. Does anyone else come? <laughs> So we are having a super nice time here at House of Blues. Um, should also be noted that we were on the parks for 10 hours today, which is highly unlike us. And congratulations to everybody for getting up super early and doing it, especially you, son. <laughs> so to start off with, we have got some wings. Looks a bit of a wing connoisseur. How are they? What's that the nice. Is that, is that the Nashville? Nah, they're not the hot. It's supposed to be really spicy, so we're a bit worried about them. So Luke's gone in to check them and says all right. How are your wings, Dave? Lovely. And we've got some lovely music. We are having a super night. Right, Daisy, what did you go for? Went for the Impossible Burger. It's really hot. What do you go for, Luke? Fine, What did you go for, wife? Cajun pasta with chicken. It smells great. It's a big pile of pasta. And I've gone for a cob salad. Everything looks and smells brilliant. So we're all done. Yeah. How was the Impossible Burger? Really nice. Yeah, I really liked it. Nice. How was your po' boy? So good that halfway through it turned into spaghetti. <laughs> uh, no, it was really good. Um, I just didn't want to eat the chips because I was pretty full up. Calm had a go at the chips. Um, yeah, that no, was quite nice. Nice. How was your pasta? It was really nice. It's very strong flavour for the amount of pasta that's there. It's a huge dish. So I had a little, I had quite a lot, which doesn't look like a dish. But the flavouring was a bit strong for me. So I then. Yeah. But um, it was nice, but I wouldn't order that again. It's not My salad's all gone. Would definitely come back. Yeah. Definitely. Service is great. Music's great. Super nice night. Yeah, it was a really good meal. So including a tip uh, for four of us, $175. And this is the bar area outside. And they have live music here as well. Say again. Place to it be. is such a cool place to I be. I really like the ambiance up there as well. Yeah. Cool, like, yes, yeah, really cool. Not to dis Disney Quest too much, but forget you Disney Quest. So we have had a brilliant day today. The kids are doing what they're doing. And it is a lovely evening, although it's been raining here in Disney yeah, Springs. It, we, we've passed, the rain's passed now, it's fine. Yeah. We've had a great day. Hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, please subscribe for future content. That's it for tonight. Cheersy. Cheers.